We recommend using pulse oximetry whenever resuscitation is anticipated to confirm your perception of persistent central cyanosis when giving supplemental oxygen or when positive pressure ventilation is required. The digital readout is not the newborn's PaO2 that is reported from a blood gas. The pulse oximeter tells you how well the hemoglobin is saturated with oxygen. The laboratory blood gas reports the partial pressure of oxygen dissolved in the plasma. Attach the oximeter sensor to the newborn's right hand or wrist. The heart and brain usually receive blood from an artery that attaches to the aorta before the ductus arteriosus, referred to as preductal. The left arm and both legs may have low oxygen saturation because they receive blood from the aorta after it has mixed with poorly oxygenated venous blood shunted from the right side of the heart through the ductus arteriosus. Therefore, the right arm gives the most accurate assessment of arterial blood feeding the brain. So place the pulse oximeter sensor on the right hand or wrist. The numbers in the target range table displayed at the bottom of the NRP flow diagram were taken from preductal readings in healthy newborns that did not require resuscitation. Notice that the saturation starts at about 60% at birth, which is what it was in the fetus, and may take 10 minutes or longer after birth to rise to 90%, even in healthy newborns after an uncomplicated birth. The pulse oximeter is working properly if it displays a pulse that approximates the apical pulse or the heart rate on the cardiac monitor if one is in use. Getting a reliable signal from the pulse oximeter can take one to two minutes from the time of birth. If the oximeter reading is less than about 60%, the displayed number may not reflect the true saturation. However, the newborn's oxygen saturation is probably less than 60%, and this is all you really need to know to assess the need for supplemental oxygen. You may not be able to achieve a satisfactory pulse oximetry reading under the following conditions. If extraneous light floods the detector because it's loose on the extremity and light is leaking underneath, the detector senses both the emitting light but also the extraneous light. If perfusion is very poor, a pulse oximeter may not function. In this case, an electronic cardiac monitor is suggested for rapid and accurate assessment of the heart rate. If the oximeter is reading more than approximately 95%, the newborn's partial pressure of oxygen, called PaO2, may be too high. If you are providing supplemental oxygen in the delivery room to a newborn whose saturation is more than 95%, supplemental oxygen should be decreased. Clinical assessment of cyanosis is a very unreliable indicator of oxygenation. The oximeter is a valuable tool to guide appropriate oxygen management in the newborn.